once you have installed Conga Sign for Salesforce and you have completed the configuration steps, it's now time to send a document for signature. From an account record, we are going to click on Send with Conga Sign. It's from here we will be directed to the user interface within Salesforce. This is where you will set up the document and configure the email that will be sent out by CongaSign. The first thing we need to do is select or add the document. You can use the search tab to locate a file in Salesforce or you can upload or drop a file directly from your computer. If you want to upload a file you just click on upload file but I already have a file connected to my Salesforce account record, so we're going to send this one out for signature. You can send multiple documents for signature within a single transaction by selecting multiple documents and specifying the sequence of the documents to be signed. Longer sign allows users to easily create or add new recipients. You can use the search tab to select an existing contact, lead or user record from Salesforce. In this case, I'm going to search for a recipient. Or you can create a new recipient. And this is where you input the first name, last name and email address. You have the option to do parallel signing or serial signing by toggling the signing order icon. Parallel signing, this means the document will be sent out at the same time. It's a default setting. If, however, you pick the serial signing, this allows you to rearrange the signers in the order according to your preference. It's easy to arrange the signers. You just need to click and then drag and drop. When a contact is selected, we get to verify some information like name, email address and role. The signer is the designated signatory. In-person signing designates the Conga sign transaction as an in-person signing transaction. This will bypass the default email based transaction and allow users to expedite the signing process without the need to access their emails. And then CC, this is the recipient, was just added for visibility, but not required to sign the document. Advanced options. Here is where you can set the transaction expiration and expiration reminders. Just click on the date and the time that you want. And you also have the option to add a message. So here is where you can add the subject and message. And this will be sent out when the Conga sign transaction is sent. Moving on to sending the document. Once you set up the basic tags under the Conga sign setup page, everything should be automated in the back end. And we can cl simply click on send now. But for demonstration purposes, we will click on the preview and tag and do it manually. So click on preview and tag. Now our signature tags have already been added to the template, but you can simply just drag and drop those signature tags onto the document. Once you've added all your tags, you just click on send. Now back onto the account record and onto Conga sign transactions, we can now see that that transaction status is sent. The signing process. From a recipient's perspective, after clicking on view document, as a standard process for e-signature tools, the recipient needs to agree with the terms and conditions. Once you have agreed to the terms and conditions, the recipient will then have full access to the document and will be given the option to choose from the default signature fonts or draw out the signature. When guided signing is enabled, the signer will automatically be taken to the next signature tag. Once all the signature tags are complete, the complete signing button will then be visible. Now back to the account record and to the Conga sign transactions related list, we can now see that the Conga sign transaction is complete.
If we go back and check our inbox, we can see that notifications have been duly sent and the final document is attached as a PDF. You may also select the audit trail by going into the conga sign transaction and then clicking on view audit. This is where you can check the transaction history. And there you have it. As you have witnessed, ConverSign is a very intuitive and can be customised to meet your business needs. It is relatively easy to configure and is able to send out a document and capture a legally binding signature in the matter of minutes. If you have any further questions, then please head to our Conga customer community.